Hello, Robert Venn here. Uh, today we're going to be using Adobe InDesign CS 5.5 to set up a trifold leaflet template. Um, subsequent videos I'll show you how to add pictures and how to add text, but this first one is just how to set up the leaflet itself. You'll be able to find Adobe InDesign under the Start menu. If you go to the Start menu and find Adobe Master Collection CS 5.5, it's in there. Okay, once you've got that open, you'll be shown something that looks like this. We're going to need to go to Create New Document. Now, yours might look more like this. If you haven't got the extra options at the bottom, go to More Options. Now, because we're going to be printing this out, we need to make sure that intent is set to print. We'll leave a number of pages at one. Um, make sure the facing pages are selected though. I'll show you how to add extra pages using the um, the different panels later on. Now, it should have set to default be on orientation portrait, but we need to change it to landscape. Um, it should be set to a A4 as a default. If it isn't, set it to A4. Rather than letter, which is American A4 equivalent. So make sure it says A4. Columns, we'll leave at 1. We'll change that as necessary. Margins, now it defaults to 12.7. If you've got that little chain link selected, it'll all change at once. We're going to change that to 5 millimeters, And we're going to make sure the bleed is also 5 millimeters click on one of those it should all change if you've done all that you should be ready to hit OK now this is our basic Adobe InDesign window basically this is what it, it looks like now what have we got here well this is going to be your most commonly used set of tools this is the tools panel We've got various different tools over here. This one, normally when you hover over them, it pops up telling you what it is and what the shortcut is. But this selection tool, um, keyboard shortcut of that is V or Escape. That's for selecting and moving around frames. This is the direct selection tool. That's for selecting the content of frames. Shortcut for that is A. This is the text tool. It's for doing text. And if you can see, when I clicked on that, this changes. Uh, this up here is your control panel and it's selection sensitive, so whatever you click on it will change depending on what you clicked on. Um, that's T for short. Um, other ones we've got, the main important ones is this one. This is your rectangular frame tool, as you can see is F for short. If you right click on that, anything's got a little triangle in the corner, means you've got multiple sub-menu options. Uh, we've got different like ellipse frame tools, are drawing circles, polygon frame tool does... Uh, multi-sided shapes. We can also use that for stars, which is quite useful. Um, as you can see, F for short on that one. Those are the main ones you're going to need to know. That's how quite useful. The hand tool for moving things around does H for short, or spacebar does the same thing. Right, now, okay, what we've got here. This black line is the outside of the page. The red line is the bleed. A bleed is for pictures. If you put a picture onto a document you're going to send to print and the picture goes perhaps right to the edge of the page. If you only did a box for the picture that went right to the edge like that, there's a possibility that when it was sent to the printers it didn't exactly fit the paper and you might end up with a bit of blank empty paper around the edge. To avoid that happening you would make sure that your picture actually spread right off the edge of the page. That way it solves the problem. By the way, undo is controlled and Z. Now, what we've got at the moment is just an A4 piece of paper. Over here, these are your panels. It's got all sorts of sub-menus. But this is the main one you need. These are your master pages and these are your pages. Master pages are like standard templates you can set up. So if you had you did lots and lots of leaflets, you'd set up a leaflet template. These are actual pages where you make actual changes to, we put your designs on. But we're going to need to set up a leaflet template. So we're going to do to do a leaflet master. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this panel here and we're going to right click new master. 
we'll leave it at B, may as well, and we will rename it. Let's call it Leaflet Master. Only needs to be one page. I we'll hit OK. Right now, we're going to need to modify this master. Okay. Now, when we set this up as a basic A4 shape, we know that this is 297 millimeters wide. Now, because this is a trifold leaflet, that means it's got three panels. So we're going to need to divide 297 by 3. Now, if we do that, we can do 297 divided by 3. We can see it's 99. If we multiply that by 2, we get 198. That means we're going to need to have guidelines at 99 millimeters and 298 millimeters. Sorry, 198 millimeters. Now, to do that, we're going to need to drag some guidelines out from our rulers. If you can't see the rulers, go to View, Hide or Show Rulers, which is Control and R for short. Now, what you need to do is you left click in the ruler and you drag out your guideline. As you can see, it gives you an X um, position number. This can be a bit fiddly to get it exactly to 99. And when you have to let go, you have to be very careful that it doesn't move. That can happen quite easily. So we need to do another one out to 198. Well, that moves slightly. Got to be very careful doing this. Try again. One nine eight. That's better. Right. So that will be our first fold. That will be our second fold. This area here will be the front of our leaflet. This area here will be the back of the leaflet, and this will be the inside fold. It folds inside these two. Now. What are we going to do? We need some safety margins because, like I said, that black line is a safety margin. Anything that goes outside these pink and purple lines might conceivably get cut off and we print. So, we need another two guidelines on either side of our folds. So, 99, if this is 5 millimeters, we need to take 5 off 99, which is 94. So, we'll drag another one out to 94 millimeters. And 99 plus 4. Is 104 so we'll drag another one out to 104 same with this one 198 minus 5 is 193 and 198 plus 5 is 203 there you go so these are our safety margins now <clears throat> this is our actual page these are just our templates if I double click on the page here you can see it doesn't match our template. That's because it's got a little A in the corner, which means it's based on A master. But if we drag that onto there, it will now say B master. So when I click on that, it'll be the same. We'll also need another page. So if I left click and drag down here, I've now got another page. So this, which is page one, that's going to be our front cover there. That's going to be our back cover. That's going to be our inside flap this is going to be our inside left flap center right flap that is basically how you set up a leaflet template next video we'll look at how to do pictures and text thanks very much